I wanted to make this video for you because I'm asked this question often and I had a family reunion over the weekend and it was asked asked of me by my cousin. And so the question is always how's real estate and information about the market. And so he specifically wanted to know about the returns and he he's older than I am and the question was you know well how many years until I can get a return and his face was like five years five years and so the better questions are always one you should invest in the market the real estate market not the um financial market even though I do like investments in that as well, but it is much different and is not as volatile. It's not um, predicated on so many external factors. And also it is in most instances, a very constant exponential type of wealth building there are um basically if you like graphs or numbers they're pretty consistent and it always for the most part trends up it's not this type of thing going on or shooting up and then down and you know depending on the day that's like a funky dance so to answer the question generally when you are investing the the goal shouldn't be such short term where you're wanting to get in and get right back out even though there are people who are flippers and investors who are very great at that but for the most part most people either don't have the connections in order to build develop purchase materials um time and labor for contractors or craftsmen in order for it to go off without a hitch and even people who are very seasoned even their timeline doesn't go according to plan even the largest construction companies at times they are not able to follow timelines because things happen things occur um so thinking about investment in real estate at a five-year plan really would be the shortest of a term in order to buy and hold. You generally will find the best sweet spot in the 10-year, in the 20-year, in the 30-year when you yourself aren't the person that is making the mortgage payment. You your invest excuse me your tenants have now paid off your original mortgage and now everything is all completely cash flow money that you can pocket of course putting aside money for any repairs that you would need because you don't want to be the owner of a dilapidated building and something that could potentially cause injuries or just the, the fact of having something that looks terrible you don't you won't and you can't get your best return or even have the best tenants in a location that has a crappy building so when you're thinking about investment think about investment long term and I know the compa comparison is always to bank money. And if you look at bank money, if you look at the interest that you receive from your checking account or from your savings account, that's not enough to purchase coffee or whatever type of trinket that you're you you are you yeah, that you're interested in the the least amount the least amount of whatever you would be interested in is basically the amount of 
interest that you would learn interest you would earn from a bank and even with cds um generally the amount that you'll earn accumulate over time is not the same wealth building that you would generate from purchasing residential or commercial property and so just to speak about commercial property really swiftly there's always discussion about um brick and brick and mortar being dead and you know why would you purchase commercial real estate retail offices a building office space when so many things are e-commerce and that is not necessarily true in the grand scheme and the holistic thought process that you should have when you're thinking about purchasing a building or leasing out a building or bringing your business to a building brick and mortar your question should be is this location this physical location because you can't change location is that location viable for what it is that i'm selling and sometimes what you sell is not conducive for that specific market where this building is located so you're setting yourself up with a few obstacles st stacked against you or you know you could be in a different neighborhood where the community will support you where other people will drive to come frequent your business and you want people who visit often not someone who will only come sometimes or very few times because that type of support is not the support that a business needs in order to be successful to thrive and to be in business long term so those are basically the the base minimal questions that you should ask when thinking about property ownership or renting or leasing property it should be with the long-term vision in mind a long-term goal and you need to have have thought about those goals um in your business building process or um goal process so if you have any questions i am more than happy to assist you we can meet and set an appointment um whatever you want to call it go for lunch go for coffee so this is marisha morris your realtor extraordinaire commercial broker more than happy to assist you have a great day and check out the sign behind me a great reminder sometimes we are in the rehearsal process sometimes we are in the recital process and other times we are full-blown orchestra so don't despise the rehearsal process because there are always things that we can get better and skills that we can develop in order to hit the recital and then the full-blown orchestra the stage <laughs>